Hello and welcome everybody, it's Crypto Rosetta, my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin before we jump into the price action, just want to say thank you for watching, if you're enjoying the content please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below, also in the description you'll find a link to Discord, come check it out, it's free to join. Okay, so what we were talking about in the previous video for the most part was the possibility of actually coming up into this zone of this uh, 2853 to this low range of this uh, 28059. So we've come up into this zone and we're talking about that possibility of rather counting um, the fact that this third wave could be up here and this fifth wave could be looking to move to the upside. So there is a couple of ways of looking at this. There is also the potential we could see something develop here as a diagonal where basically this could become a one for that fifth wave. Look at this as a two. We form another three wave move up here for a uh, three, four, and then five. And then we could see something develop between these um these diagonal lines here. So I'm keeping an eye on this. You know, potentially we could have completed it here. Um, and this could become an A, potentially a B looking for this as a flat correction, maybe here in this space. Um, alternatively, we also do need to be careful because there is a way of counting this that if we did complete here, you know, this could be an A, B, and a C, like this as a running flat. And then we could actually be starting to look to move away, um, something like this, where we actually form another one, two here. And then so this could actually look to extend out. So we're going to have to, um, we'll go over that in a second. But what I'm looking for at the moment is basically within this structure, there's a couple of ways of looking at it now. So we can either argue that, you know, potentially we've had this as a one, two, three four and then now we've had a fifth wave up here which is possible but then we'd be expecting a deeper retracement if um if however we look at this different we can argue that this could be a one two and then we could be setting up for another one two so that's why i'm looking um out for the potential of actually coming back towards this 26046 to this um 24794 region if we manage to hold this zone uh potentially uh, we could actually look to extend to the upside and what what we'd be looking for then if we did have to move down so i'm looking at this uh, 618 here but the 702 is probably more likely because we've got a bit more structure within the zone but that 618 would be at this uh, 2522 area uh, 25522 area and what we'd be looking for then is basically that continuation to the upside in the third wave looking for a fourth and then potentially a fifth so this is viable for as long as we hold above this 23896 um this move can extend can extend out so we need to just bear that in mind like i said potentially we could start to extend out from this point that we currently have here. So we could actually see this now form another low here and then start to progress up something like this, in which case um, it would be likely then that actually what we did have here was a flat and we were starting to move up again and potentially then, you know, this target range would change then if we were looking for this, um, for this possibility here of having this as a, um, uh, basically as a as another one two situation I'm actually just going to pull a new fib here what we'd be looking for would actually be we'd have to look into this low that 1618 would be all the way up here at this 3457 so we'll have to see how it plays out but basically that's what we're looking out for there so that is the one option that we have here the the possibility that we could break down here is quite high i would be you know, potentially above us, we've got these blue lines, this uh, 28,630 to this 28,544 range, and as well higher up than that, you know, we've got this 31,765 and this 32,399. Um, these could be some quite key areas, if I zoom out here slightly. Basically, those are some key points within here. This was that horizontal resistance on that support zone. The uh, 28554 is just a small um, candle that was on here that we got a rejection off of. It's 31765 higher up here, 32399. So keep an eye on those levels if we do look to actually continue to push up. But I am quite interested in this zone we're currently sitting in. Um, it is possible we could look to actually reject down from here. So we could see here that actually um, rejecting down and potentially looking for this as another wave to could tie in quite nicely to actually coming back and retesting um, this horizontal support here at this 25,211 uh, zone. If that does manage to hold them, potentially that could look to um, basically push us to the upside again for another wave. Whether this becomes um, 
a bigger impulse, it, it's more probable at that point. Uh, but we'd have to see exactly exactly how it plays out. So that that 702 also lays, lies within this zone. So if we do start to break down, you know, keep an eye on this. Um, this could signal some potential for continuation to the upside. Okay, so uh, the other things I wanted to talk about regarding the structure is we were talking about that possibility of having a flat yesterday, um, and we did come up quite high here. So it's not it's not my preferred count here, but basically we could argue that within this, you know, we've had this as an A, a B, and then potentially a C. So we did come down to this zone of this um, one to one of this A wave. So we need to see here if we do form another one and a two here, and we actually maintain, uh, given the current structure, if we do maintain above this um, above this zone of this twenty seven four hundred and eight, then potentially we can look to extend out, and this would be looking for that possibility, like I was talking about earlier, looking to push up towards this thirty four thousand five hundred and sixty, um, potentially as a as a zone for a wave three. So if we do get a bigger push up here, this is potentially what's going on. Um, and then basically within that, what we'd be looking at is the possibility that, you know, this is an A wave here or one, two, and then we could actually be looking for this as a C wave or a third wave. Um, and we'll go over that within, within this. So basically this is what we need to be aware of. We, for as long as we hold these um, key zones, Basically, as long as we hold this low that we've just got here at this um, 27,192, we need to be cautious this doesn't ex continue to extend up here. This could be um, a few things here. Like I said, you know, we could potentially be looking for that diagonal even within this one. Um, so keep an eye on that. You know, if we if we fail to break out of this and we just move up within this within this wedge pattern here, you know, potentially this could signal a sub off after it completes. Okay, so that is the that's that option. Let's jump on to the next thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, there is also the possibility that this could actually just be looking to extend within that fifth wave. Uh, and what we'd need to do to have confirmation of that would be a bigger move up towards this 29,726. If we do move up here, you know, what I'd want to see is basically this become a one, a two. And then now we start to form additional structure here to the upside four and then five, something like this to play out. So the, the key thing here is that basically all this would be then is just an extension within this wave. But the way that it's forming, it looks more likely that if it is going to be anything, it could it's going to be a diagonal or potentially extending higher than this. But if we do only push up towards this 29,726, then we do get a three wave move back towards the zone of this 28703 range. You know, potentially we could look to actually complete this move rather towards this 3368 to this 29967. So this is um this is pro all provided that we hold these lows. If we start to break these lows, then uh, basically we have this lower support range that we're looking for within um uh, within this option here. You know, potentially looking to come back towards this zone here, this 26046 to this 24794. Alternatively, if we do start to break down deeper here, uh, basically what we would need to see is whether we maintain this low. If we maintain this 23896, it is always possible, you know, that potentially this could be an A, a B, and then we come back down in a bigger C wave here. Um, I am looking at this as a triangle in here and then a fifth potentially uh, but you know there is a couple of ways of of reading this and if our third wave is actually here so our fourth wave is actually here that triangle would only fit into this um into this as a five wave move as a diagonal when we look at this potentially as a one two we'd be looking for another three wave move and then for me something like this these these trend lines don't have to be exactly where it is currently you know they could be slightly more slanted uh, we'll have to see how it actually develops so if we do actually fail here to hold this 24794 area, what we'd need to be uh, on the lookout for if we are looking for continuation, uh, basically would be for holding this lower range here, this 24,275 to this 21,077 area. We need to keep an eye on this zone. Uh, if we do get a three-wave retracement down here, you know, potentially we can argue, like I said, that this um that this wave one could actually end into this high. We could be setting a wave two or B wave. 
and then we could actually look to push up for um, for this uh, third wave or alternatively if we only move up to that one to one uh, would be towards this 3386 so even if we do start to retrace here we need to be um, aware that you know potentially we could just see a three wave move back down here and then look to continue to the upside so we need to just uh, bear that in mind within the structure the the idea of um, what we're looking at on a bigger scale here is that potential for uh, let me find it is that potential to actually come up towards this range here of this one to one of this 31895 so I've also highlighted some of the key zones here which actually tie in quite nicely with some of these um, resistance levels that we could possibly see here the 786 of this move is, is up here at this uh, 28723 and then basically higher up here we have this one to one of this zone of this 318895 uh, if this move does develop much bigger here you know potentially if we do move above this zone of this 43163 what we would then have is uh, bigger confirmation that instead of this being a a b and potentially c wave we could actually look for this to be an, a, a third wave so the, this does have potential to extend out here past that zone so we need to keep an eye on this you know potentially we could even come up to some of these higher levels and challenge this zone of this 3176 that would actually tie in quite nicely with a one-to-one -one move um, alternatively higher up here you know towards this 32,000. And then, you know, if we do look to actually challenge this potential ch uh, channel, uh, could even move towards this 38454 region. So we don't have all the enough confirmation yet. You know, this could actually just still break down. Technically speaking, you know, we were talking about this potentially being a third wave here, potentially a fourth and also a fifth wave. This count is still viable. And, you know, for the most part, we are still sitting in this green box area which is a typical area that we would look for that rejection to play out so if we just get this five wave move down here and you know we start to develop a bigger um, move to the downside basically what we'd have to be cautious of is if we were looking at this in this instance once we start to lose this 21,077 it actually becomes more likely that this count um, is in play here where then we could actually be looking for either a, a sell-off um, much lower from this point uh, and actually looking to set a new low or we would form a bigger three-wave move and potentially come back into the support zone here of this uh, 20,757 to this 17,104 range so you know this is still a zone I'm looking out for um, if we do come back down here uh, this this would change slightly I actually have to adjust this if we do look at this as a fifth wave it would change these targets slightly um, but for the most part the idea would be the same actually looking to come back and retest um, potentially this this channel line that is below us which you know directly from where we are is sitting around this 19,200 sort of area um, so yeah if we do start to break down in a bigger structure here this could be a zone that we actually look to push down into so the key thing that I want to just um, say here is you know this move to the upside it, it does have potential to become a bigger a bigger structure here but uh, we just need to be cautious because if we do move up higher here you know potentially just want to show just throw this on here you know if we take this this move from this high to this low let's throw this on to the regular you can see we've actually come up to this um let's move this over we've come up to this 382 at this 27452 you can see that a 50% retracement of this would actually look to bring us up towards this 32,734 range. So this could be a key area if we do keep moving up here, you know, potentially looking at this 50% for a, re a reaction at least. Um, I'd be keeping an eye on that. And then um, basically if we do move up higher here, you know, this this golden pocket area of this 40,941 to this 39033 could be a important zone as well. So that's looking at it off this low. Another interesting way of looking at this is if we were looking at that possibility of looking at this um, this move from here as potentially looking at it as a W, an X, and a Y, is we'd actually pull it from this low. Looking at that possibility, that's still within here. We could have a flat correction. And, um, you know, within this, if we just pull this over, I think I moved it one second. There we go. 
we can see that that 0.382 is actually higher up here, this uh, 29,682 range, and then the 50 the the 50 percent is up here at this 34,870. So that would actually be a retest of some of these lows here. This 32, this 3 3.0.382 3 at this 29,692, however, is a very interesting level because that is a retest of these lows here. So if we do look to push up, keep an eye on this zone as well. You know, potentially this uh, this could be quite a big level for us. Um, if we do move up into this, I would expect at least some kind of a reaction off of this 382. Um, if we do, if we if we don't have a bigger sell-off, potentially it could just mean we have something like this play out where we actually get a retracement down here, and then this becomes another A, B. Or one, two, we get a three, four, and a five, and start to move away. So that would be looking at that bullish aspect. But uh, yeah, for the most part, like I said before, you know, we haven't invalidated that idea of a, of a flat correction here. Still, uh, it could still look to actually break down from completion of this five-way move. So we need to get just a bit more, um, a bit more of an indication because we can still count this potentially as a fourth and a fifth here, um, and then we could actually look to break down from there. Alternatively, this could be. Um, this could be a move completed into these lows, and then we can look at this as an A, a B, and then potentially we're looking for a C wave here, and then that's actually our connector wave, and then we look to break down one more time. So we need to just be cautious. There is still potential for lower lows here. Just uh, be careful. You know, uh, this is quite a dangerous uh, area that we're sitting in. It's always possible, like I said, you know, this move could look to start to extend out where this becomes a one, two in here, then we get another one, two, and then we just um, move away from these zones. So keep an eye on these key levels. This zone here, if we're looking for bullish counts, this 23,896 is going to be the first key level we need to hold. If we start to break down below that, uh, then basically it will be looking for this um, lower support range here, which is sitting towards this zone of this. The Basically, this is the 382. Um, yeah, I suppose it does tie in with this, so I'm going to keep it on there. This 24,275 to this 21,077 area. So this is going to be a key zone. So keep an eye on this. You know, this does this move does look like um, potentially it could look to turn around. But obviously, we went through those um, other bullish scenarios where we could have had um, these internals here where we're starting to get some extension. But it's going to be key to see how we react. I do think that we're going to get some kind of reaction out, out of these levels here, but really, um, you know, we need to just uh, just be patient with this and wait for the retracement. I think that that would be the safest way to do this. You know, if this is completed into here and we get a deeper retracement, that could potentially be a zone that you look for um, or that to look for a entry, obviously not financial advice, but uh, at the moment, this is sitting right at resistance. Uh, so, you know, I'd be a bit cautious about about going long at these points. Obviously, it is, we also need to be cautious about going short because, you know, there is also that possibility that within this, there could be, like I was saying, you know, we could still have this play out with a little bit more upside um, in here where we could actually just look to get really choppy and shake people out of the market in a diagonal pattern where this could become a one, two, you know, get another move here as a three, four, and then a five. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that can happen here. Like I've said already, you know, we just need to be a little bit patient here and see what the market wants to tell us. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. As well as that, you'll find affiliate links for both PrimeXBT and Bybit down in the description. Both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. If you don't have an account, using the affiliate link does help support the channel and we do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.